All right, let's switch gears here. Some lighter news for you. 507, the countdown to Mardi Gras is on. We are now just 32 days away. But, you know, who's counting? Yeah, we're not counting, but we definitely <laughs> are excited. So happy that we're doing things a little different around here on the big show. We talk about mm. all of the parades and the king cakes and all of that. But yeah. you know the parades about the people and the children out there with the horns, the bands. So we're going to be highlighting <laughs> many of them that make carnival season what it is. And who else to do it for us than our very own Leah McNeil? Good, Good morning. morning to you. Good morning. Y'all like that. The children with the horns and, and the, the parade, parade baby <laughs> all right now nah, let's let's keep that going we're actually going to be featuring these bands for the next six weeks and i mean just as brandon said let's be honest the bands are really the soundtrack to carnival season from the brass bands the second line bands but really some of the most memorable performances on the route come from teenagers in these high school bands so for the next couple weeks we'll be showcasing that talent first up is fountain blue high school <laughs> When music is in your bones. I've been playing instruments since I was like four or five years old. You stand a little taller and your soul shines a little brighter. I've been sticking with instruments since then and I just find like a spark in music because I, I resonate with it. So it's not just something you let fall by the wayside. It's a position that I don't take lightly. I really like aim to make sure that my section has all the stuff that they need. Music is moving through every section of the Fountain Blue High School Crimson Marching Band. With peak carnival season coming up, they're training hard. Surprisingly, it's not the walking, it's the staying positive. I practice probably almost every day of the week. We definitely prep uh, quite a bit to make sure that we're on our A game for parades. Six, seven, eight. Of course, the seniors keep everyone in line. I feel like with the band, since it's such like a family experience, it, I'm gonna say it, it feels more like a parental like role <laughs> and I love feeling like that mom or like that teacher of the group because it just makes you feel good inside, you know? Human line, huh? Yeah. Got a guide while you're playing too. But it's the 22 years of leadership from band director Lee Hicks that nurtures Fountain Blue's signature sound. Of course we're trying to build musicians, you know, but there's so much more to it than just the notes and the rhythms on the page. <laughs> As they march along this track, each step gets them closer and closer to the parade route. The crowd reaction to the kids, it's just, it's, it's special. In a way, it kind of touches my soul. Parades are like my favorite, personally. Um, they're just so fun. Every band member is ready to put on a show. Are y'all the best band on the North Shore? I say we are. <laughs> I say we are. A little biased, fountain blue. <laughs> and prove not just that they're the best, but that music is indeed in their bones. Reporting in Mandeville, Leah McNeil, WWL, Louisiana. The Crimson Band will be marching in four parades this parade season. Two on the North Shore, one in Metairie, and then uh, one uptown. They will be marching in Tuck. So super excited to have them. They're actually going to be playing live for 7 to 8 o'clock. So nice. I'm excited about that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the bands are so good. I always the best feel, part. I always feel like ridiculous because like during Bacchus, my family goes every year and mm -hmm. I'll stand there on the thing and you know, everyone's catching throws, but when the bands come through, I'm like this crazy like mm -hmm. band yeah. mom who like is hyping them up and like you can't help <laughs> you it. Have to. Yeah, you they have need to. that because these right. rounds are so long good. and they're tired. So right. I know, and I know yeah. they're on that well, end when they get finally into the convention center, and you know, I'm like that crazy mom, and I'm sure they're like this lady. <laughs> I'm sure they love it. No, they're not because they got <laughs> they their mothers it. out there. That's yeah. Baby. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Leah. Great segment. Can't yeah. wait to see them live. Yeah, later we can't this wait. Oh gosh.